Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome to something a little bit different for today. I didn't have anything to upload for today. Uh, my Sonic 2 project ended on Tuesday. I have a uh, Pokemon Blue Kaizo video lined up for Saturday, and I didn't have anything on Thursday, so I decided to actually upload something a little bit different. This is not going to be the start of a project or any sort of project whatsoever. I just kind of wanted to uh, take a little break and share with you guys a fun little game slash application I actually discovered on my own time a few months ago. Uh, this game is actually called Little Alchemy. Uh, this is an application you can download on your cell phone and mobile devices and iPads and Kindles and all the other devices you can download those various apps for. And you can also play this on Facebook as well. I am playing this on Facebook because I uh, am not the devil and I don't want to own a mobile device of any kind. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, the basic premise of this game is you start with four elements, water, fire, earth, and air. And what you have to do is you actually have to combine them with each other to create objects and other items. And what you can do with those items is you can actually combine them with the elements or other items you create to basically create a whole bunch of things. There are over 400 objects you can create in Little Alchemy. I believe this actually gets updated from time to time. I'm not sure how up-to-date the Facebook version is, but there are a few things that I have tried based on a variety of guides I've seen in the past, and uh, for some reason, not all of the versions are updated, and the Facebook version is actually one of them. So. I'm not sure when they make updates, but keep your eyes out because they may have some updates every now and then. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, let's first uh, drag all of the elements over here to the table. I'm going to drag two of each for right now. One thing I like is you can actually uh, put them wherever you want. You don't have to be orderly, although I have a feeling I will be orderly in some fashion at some point. So first thing we want to do is we want to, well... We have water. Uh, let's go ahead and combine water with itself. That will give us the sea. Let's combine water with the earth. That will give us mud. Combine water and fire together. We will actually get steam. And lastly, water and air together and we'll get rain. So right away we have uh, four alchemizations which means we can probably move on to the next one. Uh, before we do, let's go ahead and combine water with uh, one of these. Uh, can't do with one of those. So let's just go with the sea. And look, we get an ocean. Can we combine water with the ocean? No, we can't. So we're going to put that away for right now. Uh, next we have fire. Fire, I believe we cannot combine with fire, but we can combine it with the earth to create lava. And then if we combine it with the air, we can get the Law of Energy. And that will about do it for fire. Let's go ahead and try with some of the other um, things. Well, with fire and uh, mud, you can create a brick. I don't think you can get anything with the ocean, though. What about energy? Nope. Okay. Well, we're done for with fire for right now. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to Earth. Uh, if we combine Earth with itself, we get uh, pressure. And if we combine earth and air together, we get dust. Okay, sounds pretty cool. And just to get this out of the way, let's go ahead and combine air and air together. That will give us uh, pressure again, but we already have pressure, so let's put that away. Uh, water. Uh, we haven't tried it with lava yet. That will give us some obsidian. As you can see, the uh, obsidian has a red background to it. That is because this is a final element. Uh, when you have a final element, that means you cannot combine it with anything. So we can actually uh, put obsidian away and never use it ever again. Uh, let's try combining with the other things we have here. Oh, uh, water and energy will give us steam again, which we already had, so put that away. Uh, let's go with fire again. Let's, uh, actually we need mud. Um, let's put mud back up here. Uh, did we try water and mud? Yeah, we did, okay. Well, let's uh, bring back fire. Let's try this with a few things that created a brick. Uh, can't make fire bricks, unfortunately. Uh, what about fire energy? Fire pressure? What about fire dust? Okay, that will create some gunpowder. 
I like, I like. That's pretty cool. Well, let's, uh, actually, can we use water with uh, gunpowder? No, we can't. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and move on to earth then. Earth and mud, nothing. Earth and ocean, nothing. Okay. Earth and rain will actually create plants. Now let's bring rain back up here again. And I believe we can actually use water and fire on plants. Uh, with water, we can create algae. And with fire, we can create tobacco. So kids, this is how you create tobacco. So never combine water and or fire and plants because that is bad for you. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Uh, what about earthen plant? Might as well try this while we're out. That'll actually create some grass. See, water and grass does nothing. Fire and grass does nothing. Earth and grass? Nope. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, we didn't actually try everything yet, so let's go ahead and keep going. Uh, what did we combine? We come with earth. Let's try steam. Okay, that'll create a geyser, which is a final element. We'll put that away. Put steam back up here. Earth and brick. Earth and ocean. Earth and pressure. Earth and energy. That will create an earthquake. Okay. I don't know if uh, these will actually combine with anything here. Didn't think so. Well, uh, with that done, we can actually move on to air now. Okay, air and steam created a cloud. I'll try the other things with those a little later. Let's keep going, going down the list here. Air pressure created wind and the atmosphere. Interesting, interesting. Uh, where's pressure again? Okay, let's put that back up here. Uh, air energy? Nothing, okay. Well, we have some new things. Let's go ahead and try these really quick. Okay, air and sky created the clouds, or air and clouds created the sky. Something like that, something to that effect anyway. Um, I don't think this will actually do anything else. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I've been around all of the stuff now, so. Now that we've done that, we can go back and try water with some of these other things. Okay, water and cloud, that will create rain, which we already had. Uh, water and wind, water and sky. Okay, nope, we're good with water for right now. Fire. Uh, we actually haven't tried fire with any of these yet. Um, fire and gunpowder, I believe, creates a nice little explosion. So we have that to look forward to. Explosion is not actually a final element, so we can use that later for something else. Let's put you back. Uh, let's keep going. Fire and... Oh, that's gunpowder. We already knew that. Uh, fire and algae. Nothing. Okay, let's just keep going. Okay, fire in the sky will create the sun. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I believe we have earth to go through now. Um, let's just try all of these, see if it gives us anything cool. Oh, wow. Earth and Earthquake actually will give us a mountain. I was uh, not aware of that, actually. Okay, and Earth and uh, Cloud will give us fog. I don't think this will give us anything, though. Nope. Oh, wow. Okay, Earth and Sky will give us the horizon. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Well, um, let's get the sky back out really quick. Okay. So um, right away, we've actually used the uh, quite a bit of the first four elements. Now that we've done that, we can actually start going through and uh, creating a lot of other things now. Uh, there's a really good algorithm that I've actually looked through where it's actually you can combine these in the fewest number of uh, moves, I guess you could say. But it's not like it keeps track of your high score or anything like that. I believe whenever you finish and close the application, it'll save how many items you have. You can't do this all in one sitting. Uh, you probably could, but it would take you a really, really long time, especially if you didn't have a guide of any kind. 
and I would definitely not recommend that. But um, let me see how I'm doing for time really quick. Hmm, yeah, we can do this for a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and move on to another um, element of sorts. Uh, mud was one of the first things we created, so let's go with mud, see if we can uh, do anything with that. What if we uh, put mud and mud together? Nothing? Well, we'll just have to uh, keep trying some things and see if we get anything cool out of it. There are some times where you won't be able to combine anything right off the bat. You'll just have to keep going until uh, you get something. Like, as you see, we're not really getting a lot with mud right now. Oh, well, mud in the sun got a brick. I'm not really sure how that works out, but... Um, okay, then, we'll, we'll just deal with that. Um, let me grab the sun and put that back. Uh, sky, mountain, fog, explosion. Okay, nope, we're uh, done with the mud for right now. In that case, we can uh, move on. Uh, I don't know why I have ocean twice. I actually meant to uh, put the sea here, not the ocean. Uh, very quickly, did we... Okay, no, I didn't miss anything. And also, just to uh, be safe, just want to make sure we did get everything. Okay, we did. Well, let's go ahead and move on to the sea now. Um, I'll grab a second one. C and C, that won't do anything. Let's just keep combining them then. But yeah, this is basically what you want to do to uh, test all of your combinations of sorts. And if you get a final element, that's when you can kind of just throw it away. Okay, well that created a wave. I didn't really see what that was. I kind of went a little bit too far there. Oh, what can we create with a wave? That'll actually help me out. Um, oh, wind and sea, right. Okay, well, that's cool. Um, wind, that's what I was looking for. Okay, well, let's grab the sea again. Uh, oh, there's the horizon again. Not that I'm surprised, honestly. Oh, okay, sea and the sun will actually create salt. It is a final... Uh, item though, so we can put that away. And I think that's about it. I think we've covered everything with the C for right now. Again, there's more stuff the more we discover, but for right now I think we can probably move on to the next one, which I believe was Steam. Uh, we'll go ahead and cover Rain though, just because it's right here. So we can go in a nice little orderly fashion around the entire grid. That is definitely so. Oh, okay. Well, rain and rain will equal flood. I suppose that makes sense. Ooh, rain in the sun will actually create a rainbow. That's pretty cool. An explosion of rain. Yes, we need to uh, see what that's all about. Okay, I think we're actually... Uh good with rain for right now. Okay, well, let's put rain away and next uh, let's go ahead and grab steam. That was the next one. I think we'll definitely get a few things with steam. Steam is definitely one of those uh, secondary elements where you can combine it with a lot of different things and get some cool things out of it. Doesn't seem like we're really getting much out of it right now, though. Okay, yeah, not really. I guess it's later on. We'll definitely have some things. Uh, before we continue, let's quickly go back to water and try it with a few things that we've just now created. That is something you will have to do quite often, like right there. We didn't have the mountain earlier, but now we do, and now we have a river because of that. And yeah, as you might figure, the more you create things, the more you'll have to go back to those basic four and through your entire list again. It can be quite a nuisance, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but that's just basically what you have to do in this game. I do really like this, though. I do like the concept of this. I've been playing a lot of different games with Alchemy, with my uh, co-op project with Fire Kitty, the uh, Atelier Iris project. 
and also the Dungeon of Elements game, which I played not too long ago. I've been doing a lot of alchemy, and I thought it would be kind of interesting to kind of show off a game that is specifically about alchemy. And uh, sure enough, that's what I did. And, oh wow, that actually created another earthquake. Well, what do you know? But yeah, that's another reason why I wanted to show off this game, because I have been very interested in the whole uh, act of alchemy, I guess you could say. Oh cool, we have a sound wave now. Let's go ahead and bring uh, another wave back into the picture. Um, let's see, anything else we can do? Um, I guess one of the things we can do is we can kind of just play around a bit now that we've done like a nice little orderly process of this so far. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to uh, just mess around and create a few different things. Uh, for one, uh, I know that brick and brick will actually create something. It'll actually create a nice little chain. We have brick and brick that'll create a wall. If we uh, create two walls together, we'll get a house. Likewise, two houses together, we'll get a village. And finally, two villages together, we'll get a city. And we have a nice little city now, which is pretty cool. Uh, what else can we do? Well, we have lava. Um, what if we tried using lava energy? Or actually, is it lava pressure? I don't remember which it is. I'm going to have to figure it out. But um, basically, there is a way we can... Uh, actually, is it steam? Steam would make sense. No, it's not. Well, what do I do to create a, what I'm looking for? What about a lava mountain? Nope. Hmm. I guess I'm going to have to figure this out. Well, one thing I actually thought of, if we use the uh, sun on a plant, we can create three different things. We have oxygen, we have a sunflower, and we have energy. So, there you go. That's a very interesting combination. If we use air and lava together, we'll actually create a stone. Use fire on the stone, we'll actually get some metal. Use the metal with gunpowder, we get a bullet. And if we encase the bullet with metal, we get a gun. And I can actually turn that gun into a more safer weapon if we give it water and make it a water gun. A classic super soaker, just like when I was a kid. I always loved those things. I used to just go around the neighborhood and just, like, shoot people with water. It was really cool. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, freaking earth and fire. That's what makes the volcano. That's what I was looking for earlier. Um, let's go ahead and try um, making this volcano erupt. Yep, we have an eruption and ash. An eruption of ash, I guess you could say. And that's what you do to basically get that. And here, if you use a water and stone together, you get a water stone, so you can evolve your Eevee into a Vaporeon. The game is not recognizing that, though, so I guess we'll have to uh, abandon that theory. If we use air and stone together, we can actually get sand. That's a very interesting combination. I didn't know if you just blew some air on a stone, sand would be the result. But if we combine two sands together, we can get a desert. Put some water in the desert, we can get a, an oasis. And if we find any plants on the desert, you can bet your sweet bippy it's going to be a cactus. If we combine mud and plants together, we can actually get a swamp. And this is actually really interesting. If we use energy on the swamp, we'll actually get life. And, uh... Life is actually where you actually can start creating some very interesting things because if you use earth and life together, you will create humans. So we have officially played God, and now we have human beings on our planet. I guess, though, to be very careful and just make sure that uh, we don't run into any problems, let's just go ahead and get rid of the humans by shooting them dead, and now we have a corpse. That's right, we have a corpse. Hooray! Hooray, we have a corpse. I know, I'm getting way too excited about that, aren't I? Well, what if we uh, put that corpse in the ground? We have a grave. And put the graves together, and we'll get a, a graveyard. Interesting how that works, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, basically how you can do that. 
Uh, another thing we can do, we can try to give life to a corpse. And then they'll officially turn into one of the Walking Dead. Great show on AMC, by the way. I really recommend it. Metal is another one of those elements you can have a lot of fun with. Um, let's go ahead and try using metal and... Looking through our list here, let's use stone. Let's use stone. That will actually give us a blade. If we put that blade in the hand of a human, we'll get some blood. And, well, what beings live in the ocean that are attracted to blood? Our good friend, Mr. Shark. Yeah, let's get the shark out of there. Also, let's try to encase a, an explosion inside metal. That will give us a grenade. Here's another one that's kind of a durr moment, but if you have sand and stone... Oh my god, we have sandstone. Also, let's bring two humans together. Aw, we've created the concept of love. Isn't that cute? Also, let's try putting a human inside of a house. And look, we have a family. I love families. Uh, what about love and human? Nope, nothing. Love and love? There's something in love that's supposed to uh, essentially take you back to life. Probably time, uh, once we find the concept of time. Yeah, that's another thing we're probably going to want to get at some point. Uh, time. Kind of weird that we don't have that yet, honestly. Okay, guys, I think that's going to do it for Little Alchemy. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more, well, part of the beauty of this game is actually discovering a lot of the alchemizations for yourself. So I've included a link to the Facebook edition of this game in the video description. And of course, you can always look this game up on the App Store to see if you can find it. Uh, very fun game. It's very addictive. It uh, doesn't have too much replay value, but still, it's just a nice little time waster like most applications you can find on mobile devices. And it's, it's cool to have every now and then a session where you just see how many you can find in a 10, 20, maybe even 30 minute time limit. So, uh, yeah, if you want to uh, check that out, go ahead and do so. Uh, tell me what you thought of this video in the video description. I might do more one-offs like this in the future. And if you have any game ideas like this, uh, feel free to suggest those as well. So I think that's going to do it. Uh, this has been Slim Kirby, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.